Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's get into today's video. So today we're going to be talking about Shanida's World Season 1, Episode 2. Okay, so one of the things I would say that I really enjoyed about this episode is I really enjoyed the therapy scene and I'll talk a little bit more about that. But before that, I want to talk a little bit about some of the key points that I got from this episode. So one of the key things that I got was I noticed how transparent Shanita is. So if you guys notice in the first scene when she was doing that radio interview, she was talking about how she wants to share her reality and how it's important to be transparent, which I completely really, really enjoyed. I was like, yes, I see why I like this woman. I see why I love what this show stands and represents, right? So that was very, very interesting. The other thing is I loved how they are doing like family ventures together so if you remember jason's mom was talking about some of the different businesses and the different enter enterprises that they do have which i thought was really really good like think about it i feel like as black people we need to do a lot better at having black owned businesses having family businesses um i love when families come together to build a legacy to build businesses to create generational wealth it's very very beautiful to see and so far i feel like this is what i want to see more like i feel like after watching the show i'm generally more inspired i'm more energized i don't really feel like oh my god what is this drama no instead it feels very genuine it feels very um uplifting which for me is one of the things that i feel like is very very important so I am loving that so far and so of course I will keep on watching Shanida's world because for me I love to be a part of something that uplifts people where you know I want to be able to watch the show and be like "Ooh, it's very important to do this it's very very important to treat your staff this way it's very very important to run your business this way I want to be able to learn life hacks life skills from being from such an uplifting and educational show and family oriented show as well i feel like to be honest a lot of now i don't want to be that person that does the statistics and stuff like that but to be honest sometimes we could live in certain communities where we're not really exposed to really good examples of what a family should look like and that close-knit union um between a husband and a wife and the children right and the extended family so the the mom you know the pair grandparents those sorts of things and i just feel like a show like this is very much needed in this space and i'm very very excited to see how the show evolves of course let's be honest this is season one there's going to be certain things you know that can be improved um and I want us to be able to communicate those things, uh, but also give grace because I know sometimes when the show is first in its inception, people are a bit like, people can get a bit harsh, but I feel like if you guys give it some time, it's only going to improve. First of all, it's a great show to begin with, but it's only going to improve. I'm very excited to see what it looks like in season two, for instance. I think that it will be so beautiful. Anyways, let's dial it back a little bit and slightly talk about the move that we saw the staff doing. So the staff were packing up. I'm um, they really give us a lot of context as to where they're moving to, but it looks like they're moving out of that current space into somewhere else. What I did enjoy was the fact that Jason did tell the staff that if they serve five thousand people in the new year in the year that they're taking the staff to jamaica now one thing that i feel like as business people anyone who owns businesses who manages staff should do is always have things like that that inspire your staff to work harder like when they think about what they're getting out of it beyond their salary they're only going to be inspired and energized to work better do things where you give them bonuses give them commission based on them bringing in new work those sorts of things help the staff 
to do better, to pour in even a lot more of their effort into the business. And that is what you want as a business owner, right? You want staff who are ready to do and go above and beyond to build your business. And so I think that was really, really nice to see. I love how it feels like a family as opposed to like, you know, just like staff and random people working for you. I love how they've managed to keep that. Um, and that was still also very visible in that. Now let's talk about the therapy session. I really like the therapy session for a lot of reasons. And I'll tell you some of the reasons why I love the therapy session. One of the things I loved about it was how honest and open and transparent they were. So they talked about the fact that financial management. So the therapist said something about financial management. The couple scored low on that during their assessment compared to like all the other things which they scored like pretty high on. And it was interesting to hear both of their perspectives, so Jason and Shanita, um, in how they were, how they each had their own views and how they deal with things. So overall, if I try to summarize some of what Shanita was trying to express, Shanita did not like that she did not really have access to all of the accounts. So yes, it is in the company name, but when she pulled up to the bank, her name was not on the account and she sort of felt she did not feel secure in that way. And then of course she started to think like, okay, is this a controlling thing? She felt some type of way. Let's be honest. If you pull up to a bank and you are a part owner or a co-owner of a company, you pull up and they're like, girl, your name ain't on it. Like that does not feel good. Let's be honest. And then of course it's a natural feeling to start feeling like, okay, is there more to it? Is he trying to have an exit strategy? You know, is he hiding something? These are the sorts of things that you naturally will think about. These things will naturally come to mind. Let's be honest, right? And I understand that. But I also thought it was interesting that he was saying, and for this part, I really appreciated that. He admitted that part of it was there was some control from his point um being like you know he's seen the money budgeting that sort of thing can sort of keep control and keep track of the budget really good idea really smart um intention there right however the way that came across is not a way that gives Shanita peace is not a way that gives her financial security let's be honest everyone wants to be secure in their relationship no one wants to feel like the rug can or wool or rug whatever can be pulled over their eyes just like that or the rug pulled from under them and then they're so surprised about like how everything has been, what's going on, what accounts do you have? Like one of the things Shanita said, which I thought was really, really important was like, think about it. If something happened to him, she's not even going to know the accounts that his name is on. She needs to know where everything is, what is in each of them. And I completely understand. I also understand Jason's perspective when he was like, when they were in college and he would bring out spreadsheets and all of that, she wasn't interested. She didn't want to know where the money was going. She didn't want to know anything about the money. But I think Shanita has evolved as an individual and she wants to be a lot more part of it. And sometimes that happens when you grow up, you have different focuses, aims change, and you start to think, okay, you desire a greater level of security you desire a greater level of knowledge and awareness of what's going on around you. And I think that Shanita is in that moment where she feels that way. But one of the things I loved about it was first that they're doing therapy. I feel like your relationship does not have to be bad for you to do therapy and counseling, right? It is very, very important to do some sort of counseling, premarital counseling, counseling whilst in the marriage, all of that. I feel like it's very very good to help the health the overall health of your relationship marriage to begin with i think that is very beautiful i love the fact that they were able to talk about it there was no disrespectful conversations it was like you said how you felt i said how i felt and i gave you grace right because even in the way shanita was saying shanita was saying that because he went up to the bank tried to get her name on it 
um and but Shanida would have wanted them to do that together and I think it's one of those things where because she hasn't been interested in this for so long he doesn't necessarily know how to navigate this space because it almost seems like now she wants to do things together specifically in relation to the finances which he's not accustomed to but I absolutely love the fact that they could have that conversation they were like talking about it there was no bad blood nobody got angry everyone was mature in the way in which the conversation was had and I felt like these are the sorts of conversations we should be having these are the sorts of examples we should be seeing on the screen and I'm so I'm so excited for the show I'm so excited for Melody Cherie and the fact that these are the sorts of things that she is doing and I pray that she continues to do these things and expand in the space of, of, of uplifting television and uplifting content. Because the truth of the matter is, this is what is needed. I feel like we've watched a lot of negative reality TV shows and all of that. And to be completely honest with you guys, I really want to get to a space where I'm also, I have content like this that is not draining me, that is not exhausting me, that I can watch, enjoy and bring you guys commentary on, right? And also, that could also give me tips that I could take around and be running with as well, right? So I really hope that you guys pour out and support Melody on this and support Shanita on this. Like, it is a really amazing thing they are doing in this season and, you know, I want us to all rally around and think beyond. We want our children, whenever they come, and those of us that have children, to be able to have something to watch that is educating, that is not people screaming and shouting at each other, right? You want something that is uplifting something where they can see good examples of good role models right these are what you want them to see society has put in a lot of negative content in this space and i feel like we need to counter that with all of this positive content and so i'm very excited to see um you know things grow and and pan out on nubian tv and i will continue to be supported Okay, now let's talk about the last scene. The last scene was was Bella um talking um sorry, was Shanida talking about Bella and Bella being at school um and how they made reference to um the fact that some kids didn't want to play with her cuz she's black. So next um episode they'll be showing us well, I hope it's next episode that they show us, but they'll be showing us some sort of taking Bella to learn more about her hair and more about her culture and who she is as a black kid. So that would be very interesting. You see, these are the sorts of things that we want to be having conversations about. Anyways, that's all I had to talk to you guys about today. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, tap that bell for notifications. And also let's continue the conversation in the chat and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.